Well, hey there, welcome. Welcome to Life Solutions While We Wait. Dr. Convi, I'm excited. It's great to be here with you today. Thank you so much. It's an yeah. honor to be with you and also greetings to the viewers and those who listen um, through their audio gadgets. Yeah, bo. Yeah. Thank you. We have titled today's uh, show Life Warnings. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the title. Yeah, you, you see, um, in this life, we need each other. Yeah. So the concept of needing each other is that those who have gone before us must really warn those who are still coming. All right, yeah, all the, right. The word warning is not negative, it's positive. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, it's just uh, to show uh. you that the things we are about to talk about to us are very much important and you must take them seriously. So that is why we call it life warning. Life warning. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. So let's let's go. Let's talk. Yeah, I think let's do the following. You know, you know, there's a vicious cycle in life. All right. Where people treat the year as a cycle. Mm. You know, mm. it uh, it presents the same things at the beginning, and it presents the same problems at the end, or the same excitement at the end, and usher you to the new year with problems. Okay. Every year, you find that you are 52 years old, you are still suffering the problems you suffered when you were 80. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you are living in this kind of cycle. Okay. Of ending a year excited, starting a year disappointed, ending the year excited, starting the year disappointed. Mm, and with this mm, show today, mm. we are saying we are bringing a remedy that seeks to end that kind of cycle mm, of pain, mm, you know. Mm, mm. Yeah, so for example, let me start with people who are working. Okay. Because people, some people, most of the people, have not done the quantitative research in this regard. So I'm giving you a general um, um, contribution based on observation and practical experience. Yep. Pe majority of people who are working, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You treat January to... to to say September as if you are not earning income, as if the money you are getting is water going into the drain. Okay. And you only wake up in November, December when there are bonuses. Mm, mm, and, mm. and suddenly you think you've got a lot of money. When, when your attitude towards money is like that, you will see yourself as having a lot of money in November, December. Mm, Whilst mm. in a sense, it's just a bonus mm, for that period. Mm, and, mm. And, and then the next action is that you may fumble. But you start to spend money on things that are useless. All right. Let me give you one thing that is useless. Anything that you are using in a day, in a manner that is uncontrollably wasting time, in my view, that thing is useless. Okay. For example, when I'm thirsty, I drink water, one glass or two glasses, and I'm quenched. Yeah. That is very important to me. But if I were to drink water from the morning until the evening, and I'm not getting quenched, it's either my body has a problem or water has a problem. <laughs> I was not going to continue with that. Yeah, so I will yeah, not spend yeah. money on such kind of a thing. Yeah. That is keeping me on it from the morning uh, until uh, sunset or mm, throughout the night mm, to a point that I forget my mm, wife Mm. my children and mm. my home and the direction to where my home is. I will yeah. not spend money in that. Yeah. And usually when people have got a bonus, they spend money on things such as those. Yeah. You, yeah. you get my point? Yeah. Secondly, when you have a bonus in December, you must not start to do things that you were not doing January to September. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Suddenly, mm. you feel that you can book women into lodges. You know, nowadays there are lodges in townships and in rural areas, yeah. Yeah. which are just meant for 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 one hour stand. You know, I've seen this, I was traveling. You find a man coming quickly with a woman and they are hiding behind their steering wheel. They hide in that lodge, one hour stand. They come out exhausted. And this woman does not belong, belong to this man. This man does not belong to this woman. These are things that some people are going to do this December, November, December. And I want to say, we are asking God to release a surveillance spirit if you are going to do that kind of a thing, be caught in your act because you are destroying families yeah, and yeah, you are destroying yeah. the fiber of society. We yeah. are telling you, whether yeah. you take it or leave it, you are destroying the fiber yeah. of society. You are causing certain families not to have pleasure this Christmas yeah. because of your last full behavior. Yeah. Some kids will not have uh, uh, groceries and other things because you, your last is saying money must be used to buy rooms in lodges for one hour yeah. where you sleep there with other men's women or other women's men. You get yeah. my point? That must not happen this December. That must not happen this November. When you get money, that money, you must treat it like Lobola money. 
You must put it in your house before your wife and your children and you count together and be excited and then use it meaningfully together. Let us restore yeah, the yeah, Africanness yeah. or the kingdomness, yeah. you know, the attitude of being responsible people mm. in our families. So mm. that is the second example of a thing I want to warn people about. Yeah. That don't do this kind of foolish activities. They are destroying the joy of children. They are destroying the joy of mothers. They are yeah. destroying the joy of young adults. This thing of gender-based violence and also the 16 days of activism yeah. must include this thing. Yeah. That don't use money wrongly. Yeah. Don't use money for things that are not adding value to your life. Yeah. Because December and November are not different from January to September. Correct. They are months Correct. in a year. Yeah. You will still have life in January yeah. 2021. And we don't want to receive stress back at workplaces. We don't want to receive sick people back to workplaces in January. We want to come back, come back happy, fulfilled, restored, and well relaxed. Yeah. The third issue I want to raise as, as a warning to, to majority of people is that when money comes, please uh, make sure that you pay off your debts. Don't allow unnecessary debts to cross over to the new season mm. while you mm. can be able to pay off the debts. Mm. Don't find yourself now buying a car uh, before you even clear other basic debts, sure. you know, because sure. you are bringing a so huge important. debt in your life because of a vehicle. Don't you know that there's public transport? I mean, don't be ashamed to use public transport until you have enough money to buy your own vehicle. There's nothing wrong. Don't be ashamed. Whoever laughs at you when you do such kind of thing, you must know that that is the best foolish person you can ever meet in life. <laughs> you are doing the right thing by just waiting for the right time to have enough capital or cash flow to buy a vehicle. A vehicle is not urgent. There are taxis in our country. Cape Town to Lipump, you know, Pumalanga to Northern Cape, there are taxis, there are trains, you know, there are other forms of, of, of public transport. We are helping you. I mean, people have, have found themselves having sugar diabetes out of shock, socio-economic shock. Yeah. You know, yeah. heart attacks out of socio-economic shock. Yeah. You know, perpetual headaches, perpetual pains out of of, out of socio-economic shocks. I'm sitting here bringing uh, remedies that are free of charge. Please go and use them and become better. We cannot tolerate a situation where every year in your family and in your household there's a vicious circle. Yep. You're starting a year depressed, ending a year excited, starting a year depressed, ending a year uh, 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 exci uh, uh, excited. I mean, yeah. this must come to an end. Your year must be ex must be incrementally going up from glory to, to glory. glory. That's what you're born to celebrate. Powerful. Yeah. Dr. Convi, you mentioned three things, yeah. areas that you want to warn us in. Mm. You are saying, number one, um, when we get money, extra money, maybe because of Amaponas, mm. one, we tend to consume things that do not help us yeah. or our health. Mm. Things that will cause us to, you, you made an example, Ngamans, good, you will drink water and be quenched, mm. but because we s have money that we didn't budget for or plan for, mm. we end up drinking things that will never satisfy us, mm. that will never quench us in any way. Number two, you spoke about the relationships. Mm. But when we get this money, we tend to invest in an necessary relationships, if I may call it yes, that, yes. relationships that break the, 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 the social fiber and had other uh, core and important relationships as well. Mm, mm, okay? Mm. So that is powerful, um, Dr. Convi. Mm. What other warning do you have for us? Yeah, so we are also saying people who are now, because you see, I love family, you know? Yeah. Everything arises or rises and falls on family. Uh, CEOs are from families. Yeah, yeah, true. Pastors are from families. True. You know, thieves are from families. Everything rises and falls on family. So based on that, I want to emphasize the following. Do not uh, uh, divorce each other in November, December. It's not a good time to do divorce, you know. You, are, you, are, you will break people like nobody's business. It's not time for divorce. It's time for reconciliation. Mm -hmm. It's time for peace. Mm -hmm. It's time for loving one another. Mm -hmm. It's time for acknowledging that mistakes that you have made January to September mm -hmm. 
are mistakes. Mm. You can really be restored now, recover now, mm. and then together, while you are on leave or on holiday, yeah. mend the bridges. Yeah. You know, yeah. begin to look at each other in the eye and say, you know what, in July, I was just uh, found by something, I don't know what it could yeah. be, but I apologize. Yeah. Let's build it together, let's move forward. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm calling upon anyone, who, whether you are a leader or a community leader or whatever, forget about that and check, are you in a family and what is your position? Are you a wife or are you a husband? And then go and mend bridges. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go and mend bridges. Can we, can we decorate our streets? Mm. with movement of husband and wife. Oh, Where you move beautiful. around yeah. laughing, yeah. you know, yeah. jogging, you know, walking, yeah. you know, yeah. sometimes standing together, look at each other, communicate. Let kids be shocked this yeah. year and see adults, yeah. married people, I mean, talking in a jolly way yeah. on the streets yeah. so that they can realize that uh, they must learn from, from yeah. all of us. Let's yeah. use this time to say, there is something we can offer as society. Yeah. You, you get my point. So that is the, the third issue. Yeah. yeah, that's so important, Dr. Convy, yeah. especially in the township. Parents and, and, and um, other family members are working far or outside of the, 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 the community. Mm -hmm. They come back very late at night and then they'll leave again in the morning. So December becomes, November, December becomes a time where they could be home, they mm. could be present more, mm. have those jokes as you say, mm. but now there's this temptation to invest more time on people that are not, you know, that have not been there for you, mm. to invest on relationships that are wrong, on uh, events and other things. And mm. I think we fall on that temp to that temptation a Ex lot. Exactly. So do not try to please everyone. Yeah, don't be a a, a human pleaser, be original and be honest. So spend time at home. I yeah. mean, God yeah. has reminded us yeah. during March until uh, July or yeah. September to yeah. say we must be locked down at yeah. home. He was reminding us that we neglect one another. Yeah. Yeah. Spend time at home, check on yeah. one another, yeah. play your part, you yeah. know. And then, and then if there are people who want to see you, invite them at home. At home. Avoid this thing, or you become so excited at night and so, so discouraged during the day. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Are you an owl? <laughs> eh? What's wrong with you? I mean, be excited during the day and during the night sleep. Yeah. You know, yeah. spend time with family. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 being interested in them. Yeah. You my point. Things that you need and you don't have. Look for community leaders in your area who are good at such kind of mm, things. Mm. If there are kids who must go to school next year and you don't have a clue as to how to go to school, look for community leaders. In your, surely there are principals who are wiser in yes, your community. Yes, yes. Principals of school. Go yeah. to them and say, we want to understand something. They will point you at a graduate in your area. Yeah. They will point you at a lecturer in your area. Before you realize, they will point you at someone who works with a, a, a student funding or yeah, NSF yeah, for bursaries. Yeah, yeah. So don't, don't have a situation where you start to say, no, we cannot continue with anything. Life is boring, it's difficult. No, there are people who will assist you in the community. Yeah. We are yeah. warning you to stop living like you are an island. Yeah. You know, there are yeah. people who care about you, but speak out. Don't be ashamed of declaring things that are bothering your spirit. You know? I mean, you can't sit there and then we pass your house, we see somebody who looks like you've been fallen upon by hail. Mm, mm, you, you've mm. been hit by some natural things that we mm, don't know. Speak mm, out and say, mm. you know what, I, I've got a deficiency. Yeah. One of my organs is not working. Mm. My heart is, is not in order. My yeah. liver is not in order. Yeah. You know, I've got a tumor. I've got cancer. I've got... Speak out. A minute you speak, you are conquering the thing that is bothering yep. you inside. Yep. Yeah. But when you keep quiet, you are busy meditating on the thing that is troubling you. Before you realize, you are like that kind of a thing. Mm, and then mm, people will bury you. Mm, we don't want mm, to bury anybody mm, because of despair. Mm, Speak out, reach mm, out, be mm, jolly. Mm, you know, if you are not working, I spoke of bonus earlier on. Yeah. You might be not working. So, so please, take charge of your space. I spoke previously to say, if your whole house, your whole yard is paved, you know, Please go to your backyard, remove the pavement at the back, one meter or two meters from the house, remove the cement and the paving at the back, dig the soil there, 
put fertilizer and start to plant vegetables. You know, keep yourself busy in that, in that field. Plant vegetables. You know what will happen? You will never run out of relish. You will always have some vegetables to eat with your palm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Don't, 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 don't be frustrated mm, and, and, mm, and mm, enroll mm, and become a mm, student of frustration mm. and see the yeah, <laughs> things are not happening. Yeah. If you are useless, you will have been dead. Yeah. Yeah. God is not in a business of keeping people alive while they are useless. Yeah. The fact that you are alive today, it means you are useful. Yeah. Stop thinking that I'm, I'm useless and useless. You will commit suicide if you're mm. like that. So mm. please, mm. God kept you alive today and to mm. God be the Lord because mm. you are very important. Let me tell you, you are extremely important. You are yeah. very special. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you are looking at me and say, ah, oh, they told me I'm pretty or ugly. You must look at them. They don't know how to differentiate between the image after the likeness of God and things that are done by artists. You are very special, man. Yeah, wake up, stand up, and then start to do things. Yeah. The value of a person is, is what you can offer. Yeah. The fact that you are a human being and you can speak or you can do sign language, it means you can offer something to others. Yeah. So don't underestimate the fact that you can offer, offer something. Offer it. Whether yeah. you are employed by a boss somewhere, or you're not employed by a boss somewhere, you are working for God Almighty. None of us is unemployed. If you're not working for a boss somewhere, you are working for God Almighty. That is why you are alive today. So what must you do? Learn to love yourself and learn to love other people. Reach out to as many people as possible until they say to you, what bora, then it's better. <laughs> But don't conclude the road to heal. Uman when or go to try everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Move yeah. out, talk to people. If yeah. you see kids that are frustrated, talk to them. Yeah. If you see children wandering around, don't hesitate mm -hmm. because there are there are hawkers of children now who want to steal kids and use them as child labor and for prostitution and for human trafficking. Take care of the children in your community. When you see a child wandering around, be interested. Go to them, speak to them, where are you going? And then try to navigate them back to the home. Don't take anything for granted. We yeah. are together in this life and each one of us has a role to play. We are entering into a season of thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Not because we have yeah. money or we don't have yeah. money. No, we want to thank God because all of us are alive. Yeah. Please don't worry. If you are hungry and you don't have food, don't steal. Yeah. Just go to your neighbors. The truth shall set you free. Mm. Just have a good timing. When you hear that they are starting to cook <laughs> and the like and the like, um, uh, just give them 15 minutes. When you start to send some good smell, visit. visit yeah. <laughs> when you arrive there, greet them nicely and yeah. say, no, I'm just here to be with you for dinner. Yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah. 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 Don't, don't conclude that they will deny you food. Yeah. Tell them I'm hungry until they say we don't need you. Now you know your neighbors are stingy. Mm. Dr. Convi, there is this cycle Every year, mm. Mochanawar, mm. people appear as if they are caught off guard, like they didn't know that we will have this month. Mm. They are borrowing, uh, Abomashonis are taking their cards. Mm. But December, they had an extra income. Exactly. What happened? No, it's emotional living. When you are a person who is driven by emotional lifestyle, you do things that are shameful. And in fact, you resign from an understanding that there is a thing called seed time and harvest. All right. There is a thing called saving. There's a thing called investing. There's a thing called putting away hay when there's still sunshine. Yeah, yeah. So that when famine comes, you are able to deal with that. Yeah. So that is why majority of such kind of people, they are surprised by June, mm -hmm. winter. Mm, they they mm, surprised mm, by mm, winter. You mm, find that they want to buy jerseys in winter. Mm, and the problem that time, the jerseys are very expensive. That's true. That's true. You know, instead mm. of buying a jersey in January and knowing that you won't grow too much, just buy a one with an extra inch yeah, yeah. if you are growing perpetual. Mm. And then winter is coming, then you are warm. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Uh, so, so it's an issue of emotional living. People must start to do the following. Be proactive. Try to look a mile away from yourself and say, what if this happens? What if that happens? How will I deal with these kind mm, of things? Mm. I'm saying this with humility because you can still plan and things go wrong. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. let things go wrong while you have planned. Yes, Do yes. not be this person who don't plan in any way and wrong can find you being wrong ready. Mm. I mean, that is not acceptable. So for us to 
destroy this thing of vicious cycle of on and off, joy and pain mm, every mm, year. Mm. I mean, let us change our ways of doing things. You know, in our township, there is this mentality of brasoli, brajeks. People okay. don't want to grow and become papa so angry so and so, <laughs> yeah. bra, 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 yeah. bra, 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 yeah. and the like and the like. That mentality is out of order because you are ashamed of showing off that you are a grown up in general, in general. And that is why you find that even when you succeed, you don't want to show off success and be a blessing to other people because you feel like they will see you are growing up. You are delaying us, mm. you know. Mm. Let us break this kind of a cycle. Mm. cycle. If mm. you are a grown up, behave as a grown up mm. person mm. in the township, in the rural area and serve as a good model mm. for other people. I'm telling you, we, we will look back and start to realize that we are not visitors. Mm in our country. Mm. We belong here mm. and we can become better mm. and we can be a model for other people. Mm. There's something that has befallen young people, girls and boys. You will see it with the way in which they behave themselves. They are sexually active. When I say sexually active, I'm not talking about um, uh, being at the age where they start to have puberty and want to have feelings and, and be attracted to boys or girls or whatever. I'm talking about sexual active. They are thinking of sex and wanting to have sex left and right. You can see it. You can go to schools now and observe some of the girls and the boys. They are just, they are just there. They are sexually active. I'm, I believe I'm speaking to adults here. Don't behave as if you are ignorant of what I'm talking about. Kids in your community are hyperactive. They are looking for sex. And in this case, some of them are fed by adults who really are full of lust, who have got resources. And then when they see a vulnerable young girl who is sexually active, who is so much hungry for sex, you, you can see it on their eyes, you can see it on their way of, of moving and dressing and whatever. Whether you like it or not, I know that there are people who call themselves activists and gender mm. activists, but they're fumbling because they're not addressing a moral fiber that create dignified young men and yeah. young, mm. young, young mm. girls. Mm. They are afraid to speak as I speak because perhaps they are also busy with these kind of situations. I'm telling you now that if you see such kind of girls and boys, please take your position as a citizen of the kingdom of God and reach out to them and engage with them with respect. You will win one and you may lose others, but one is more important because yeah. you are changing yeah. society. Yeah. This is very important for me. And, 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 and I want to give you a benefit that I had when I was growing up. I had a dynamic uncle, I had a dynamic grandmother. They used to say to me, please come back home as early as possible. We are accountable for you. It was not pleasant. But today I'm still a last man standing mm, mm, and moving mm. forward and I see the value of them having prevented me from rape. I yeah. could have been raped or molested, you know, molestation. I could have been molested, but I had a gr good grandmother. I had a good gra uh, 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 uncle. They kept on saying to me, be careful, be careful, be careful. And I felt these guys are too primitive, man. Eh? They are controlling and the like and the like. But today I'm seeing the value of that. If you've got biological children, and if you have the favor of your neighborhood, please protect children hmm. from rapists, protect children from molesters, protect children from people who are abusing children. You get, you get my point? Yeah. So you do that by doing the uneasy issue. Yeah. You address the things that society is finding it difficult to address. Do it and you will see the reward. Speak an uncommon language. Let kids in your area hate you for saying things they don't want to hear. One day they will come back and kiss you for having said those things at a time when they were not willing to listen to that. And they will take that bait and that time and give it to other people. Yeah, yeah. You will have done your part, but do not settle for wrong things because you are afraid that people will say when you are outdated or you are, you are violating human rights. This human rights nonsense, it's not all of it that is coming from our nation. It's coming from foreign spaces to, to, to vandalize our values and our principles, you know? So sometimes you must take what works, reject what is not working, protect one another. Yeah. I've noticed that men, or most of the men, or some of the men, when they are not working, earning, 
and also being in charge or in control of their spaces and environment. The whole escom of the body <laughs> falls apart. It's I like, it's like, not, yeah, it's like you have a lot shedding full time. It's like you are no longer normal. Mm. I want to assure you, my brother, it's not your fault unless if you are just lazy. It's not your fault unless if when you get opportunities, you squander them. Mm, mm, it's mm. not your fault unless if you don't want to be disciplined mm. and, and really uh, go for, for, for the hard way of establishing things. It's not your fault unless if you are too sensitive, you don't receive advice and take it seriously. So it's not your fault unless if you are looking at your wife and you just keep on saying, no, she can't do me anything, she can't tell me anything. It's not your fault unless if you, you, you really neglecting any other advice that comes from the people around you. You got my point? It's not your fault unless if you are with a very bad company. Bad company corrupts a good character. You can't just be this man who is always being tossed around by mm. friends. When they say, let's go and drink, even when you are not thirsty, you go in. Hey, let's go and chill. Even when you are not, you are not necessarily uh, uh, hot, you go with them. You know, th sometimes you must be able to say, guys, I've got a life. I'm reflecting. I'm planning. Go alone. I will see you some other time. There must be some of the times where you are the one who's leading your team. Not always you are being pulled. You you moving around as if you are a tro trolley or a tra what are you, trailer. Yeah. Yeah. And then someone is driving you. You must have a backbone as a man. And don't worry about 50-50, uh, whatever, whatever. Focus on yourself and say, I'm a man. Let me do what the men should do and yeah. do it best. Yeah. Women will respect you. Community will respect you. Yourself will respect yourself and life will be enjoyable. Finally, let yes. me talk to people who are, who are at universities. It doesn't help to every time study, pass, finish a degree, graduate, and then you enroll for a new one. That is nonsense. Okay. That is okay. nonsense. You, 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 for how long will you be studying? You know? Sometimes you must look back and say, I have qualified, I've got a diploma, I've got a degree. Why did I do this thing? Can it help me or not? You know? If it is not helping you, I think you must go to your university and ask for a refund. Because then you have wasted resources. You know? but, but I want to challenge you, out of your education, try to see if you can use some of your learnings to start to do some of the community projects yeah, yeah. and also go yeah. to banks. I mean, I know, I'm in business and people will tell you uh, it's difficult to find capital. Yes, it's difficult if there's no sense in what you are, you are trying to present to a banker. So go to the bank and be honest and say, I have graduated, I don't have employment as yet, but I have an idea. And share your idea, you lose yeah. nothing. Yeah. And say, can't you find it, you mm -hmm. know? You, you go to the six banks in this country, Surely you will come across a Samaritan bank yeah. and then certain things can happen for your, for your sake. And also look around for business people. If you see someone in your community who looks like they are very rich, go to them and say, you look rich. Uh, is there a way in which you can assist me to become better? Don't be this person who keeps on just getting qualification mm, after mm, qualification, mm, mm. but these qualifications are taking you yeah. nowhere. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not, you are not meant to be like that. Yeah. You cannot be a regurgitated student for yeah. the rest of your yeah. life. Use what you have acquired to become better. Yep. If all has failed, volunteer now for January at your local school mm. and do something to add value on the learners. Yeah. Someone will spot you. Yeah. And then before you realize, you will be paid back even for the time that you were just doing it for the sake of doing it. Yeah. May God bless you. Amen. So thank you for that, Apostle. All in all, we've been warned let us uh, learn from the warnings that we have received and we can break the cycle. We can start better, finish strong, start better the new year and you know you will see the difference. The year you have this year doesn't have to be the same next year. Mm. For all those warnings, we appreciate them. Uh, give your number again, uh, Apostle, if anyone wants to connect. Uh, give that number. Yeah, it's 082-560-3900. You can connect with me on WhatsApp. You can call me directly. Let's, let's enjoy life. I yeah. mean, you owe nobody nothing. 
but to enjoy life. If you have made mistakes, you are a living person. Living yeah. people make mistakes. Yeah. If you have you have done something very wrong, you are a living person. Living people make mistakes. Don't be shy that you have done something now you can't come out. I mean I mean nobody has created you. You are created by the Lord God Almighty as you are. Just come out. If people call you names, celebrate. They are not your names. They are just struggling to know your correct mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. Don't worry mm -hmm. about slow learners. Mm -hmm. You know? Focus on who you are mm. and give the best of who you are. I'm yeah. available as much as time can allow. And then you come. We coach you. You become yeah. the best. Yeah. When I move around community, I want to move around and meet people who are happy and who are available to be made better. I am the way I am because others are also contributing in my life. They are interested in making me better. So you too can become better. Stop cursing yourself and condemning yourself and looking down at yourself. And you will see how important you are. Remember, this December must be the last December where you are yeah. excited because of money. January must be the last January where you are entering with depression. Yeah. Yeah, this cycle must come to an end. It's a generational curse. We are here to break it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come to life and enjoy life and life in abundance. Amen. Thank you very much. It has been real. This was the realest talk I've had this year.